So we're talking about Vouvray. So where should we start? Do you want to start uh, with a little bit of a rundown? I got a couple of maps here. Um, Vouvray, of course, is in France. Um, it's on the north, northern, north western coast. I want to think eastern because it's on the Atlantic. Northwestern coast of France. Um, it's based on the Loire River, which runs from Nantes into Tours, basically. And the region we're focusing on is this sort of the center, the terrain. And here's a very nice little map that features all of the uh, Appalachians within the Loire Valley. But we're just focusing on Vouvray, which is roughly here in the center. And to give people an idea, that's sort of like the size and scale of Vouvray. Um, what can you tell us about Vouvray, Christy? Um, yeah, I, I think that Vouvray is interesting because Can you the, tilt your camera down a little bit? Yes, indeed. How about up a little I bit think now? Vouvray is really interesting okay. because it's um, it's such a, a historical appellation. And certainly Chenin Blanc is very historical with regard to France and the Loire Valley. Um, it, there are theories that um, the name Chenin Blanc comes from the Chateau of Chenonson, which we pronounce with a Chenonson sound today, uh, but it might have been pronounced as Chenonson uh, when it was built. And this is the chateau that stretches across the Loire River that has all the arches across it. Oh. And if you've been to the Loire Valley, it's the one that has the really cool kitchen with the reenactment of women making uh, lots of different dishes for lunch with copper kettles and that sort of thing. And so Chenin has been planted in the Loire Valley um, uh, possibly uh, since back in 18, uh, sorry, 845. 845. Yeah. Yes. Um, we definitely know that it was planted there as of 1496 because there are mentions uh, in a diary from the, uh, I don't know if he was a, if he was a count um, or a duke or what have you, but the owner of the Chateau de Chenonson at that time, saying that he had just planted some new vineyards, which is amazing. And the, it's it's been a vital and successful part of France's vinous fabric since then. I know that the Dutch loved it. There was a lot of trade. Um, the Church loved it. The King of England loved. Some of these great wines from the Loire Valley, and I know that our audience out there loves them too, and would love to uh, to dig into some of them. 